And when I find the average rate of change, so average rate of change, the, uh, the formula for it is this one. It's f of x2 minus f of x1 all over x2 minus x1. That's the formula that we're going to use for, for both of these. So the way this works is you're going to put in the values. We have values given for x1 and we have values for x2. So the first step would be to plug them into the average rate of change formula. Okay, so we're going to do f of 2 minus f of 0 over 2 minus 0. Well, we don't know enough information to, to finish this yet. We don't know f of 2, we don't know f of 0 either, so we have to find f of 2 and f of 0 separately. Let's do that down here. We want to find f of 2. Now, f of 2 means that we're going to put 2 into this equation in place of all the x's. So that's going to give us negative 3 times 2 squared plus 3. If we simplify it, we get negative 3 times 4, so that's negative 12 plus 3, gives us negative 9. So I know that f of 2 is equal to negative 9. Now let's do f of 0. Put 0 in for the x. And if we simplify that, we get 0 plus 3, or we end up getting 3 as the answer. So now we have two different numbers that, we're, that we can now put into the average rate of change formula. Right here uh, is the formula itself. So when we do that, we have f of 2, we did that already, that's negative 9. We're going to subtract f of 0, which is 3, and that's going to be over 2 minus 0, which is 2. That gives you negative 12 divided by 2 gives you negative 6. So what does that mean? That means that the average slope between 0 and 2 on this curve is going to be negative 6. Next, let's do the same thing for this one down below. So we're going to use the same formula. Now when we put in the numbers, that's going to be f of x2, that's 3, f of 3 minus f of 1 all over 3 minus 1. So we need to figure out what f of 3 and what f of 1 are. So for f of 3, we'll do that down here. f of 3 is equal to 3 cubed minus 3 plus 2. 27 minus 3 plus 2, that's going to give you 26. Now let's do f of 1. f of 1 we put in for both the x's. 1 cubed minus 1 plus 2. That's going to give you a 0 there, plus, and then plus 2 means that f of 1 is equal to 2. So if I put that back into this formula, putting it back into here now, we found these values separately. f of 3 is equal to 26, f of 1 is equal to 2, and then down below I have 3 minus 1, that's equal to 2 also. Simplify it, 24 over 2 is going to give you 12. So the average slope between the x value of 1 and 3 on this curve right here, this one, is going to be equal to 12.